This video will be about calling search spaces and partitions for Cisco Call Manager, also known as CUCM, Cisco Unified Communications Manager. Calling search spaces and partitions are two fundamental topics that you must understand and know how they interoperate in order to effectively configure, troubleshoot, and engineer within this environment. Today's video is going to be a brief introduction to what a calling search space is, what a partition is, how they interoperate with each other, or how they relate to each other, and then we will go through some real-world demonstration um, about uh, how you would use them in an environment to achieve a certain result, or to resolve a ticket, to uh, uh, engineer a solution, things like that. So I'm not going to have too much of a preamble. Uh, we're just going to say, if you want to know about this uh, from the source, I recommend you hit up the Cisco Collaboration SRN D12. It has a wealth of knowledge, obviously. This should be your primary source for any topic uh, for collaboration. And uh, under the call control and routing section, dial plan, you will find the calling search space and the partition uh, explanation. So I just want to throw that out there. That is the source material. This will, should be a supplemental video for you. With that being said, let's dive into it. So the first thing we need to do is log into our call manager. And class of control and partition are topics or categories that you will find under the call routing class of control subheading. They are part of the class of control subheading because you leverage calling search spaces and partitions to restrict your environment, to create call flows that you that are structured um, and that are predictable. If you do not have a calling search space and partition uh, hierarchy set up or properly set up, you are going to have an environment where people can do things that you do not necessarily want them to do. And you will also have an environment where things happen that aren't predictable and that are hard to troubleshoot and that generally just create a headache and, uh, and are not good, <laughs> uh, basically. So class of control, calling search space, and partition, uh, those are the two uh, methods that you use to restrict your environment. Now, how you do that is, uh, is will be evident in the definitions of each of those two topics. So a partition is a logical grouping of numbers or things that can be called. Most likely it's directory numbers, route patterns, and translation patterns. And a calling search space is an ordered list of those partitions. So you can think of a partition as things that can be called and a calling search space as permission of a calling device. It could be a phone, it could be a translation pattern, it could be a CTI route point, etc. Now, for partitions, in order to create a partition, it's very easy. You go to partition, and if you hit find, you can see what I have already. Now, I have already created this internal partition, and I'm going to delete this one, and I'm going to recreate it for uh, demonstration purposes. So to create a partition, you simply go up to add new and you're going to be greeted with this box. And it seems kind of uh, intimidating because you can just write whatever in there. But the format of the syntax is really simple. You just type in what you want the partition to be called and the description for it. You can do this in bulk. As you can see, you can enter up to 75 partitions at once. There is a character limit, so you have to be kind of concise and uh, have an economy of words but I've never ran into an issue with that. So we are going to create the internal one test partition and hit save. And now we have internal and internal one partitions. We haven't really done anything with them yet. We just know that we have these two partitions. Next, we're going to go to a phone. We're going to select George Washington here. And as you can see, George Washington, there is no mentioning of a partition for his phone. He has a calling search space, but there is no partition for his phone. His phone is not in a partition. His phone has a calling search space applied to it because his phone is something that makes calls. His extension or his directory number has a partition. It is an in internal. We know that because if we click on it, we can see 
route partition internal because again this is a directory number this is something that can be called so it needs a partition and it is in the internal partition if we go back I will show you how you add a directory number I'm going to add this directory number it's the same one that's currently assigned to his phone which is 1001 however if I select internal one partition it's essentially like a blank number it's just created this number in this partition it would not let me do that if I had internal route partition because a directory number that exact directory number already exists in that partition but if I choose a different logical separation of the number it allows me to configure this number so now we have HQ George Washington 1001 internal one. Oh my god I cannot spell and then we are going to configure that so now if we go back we have 1001 in the internal partition and 1001 in the internal one partition these are essentially two different numbers even though they are the same they are in different logical groupings so I cannot stress that enough a partition is essentially a logical grouping of numbers of things that can be called directory numbers translation patterns etc so a calling search space as a reminder is something that is applied to devices that make calls it is an ordered list of partitions and it effectively tells you what numbers you are allowed to reach from a device from a translation pattern etc I have a list of my calling search, search spaces excuse me that I have configured here one of them is the HQ calling search space which was applied to George Washington's phone at the phone level and I'm emphasizing that because you will see that later on in the video I will come back to that but as you can see here is HQ the name the description is blank you don't need to have a description especially in a lab environment I sometimes forget to do that but you will see the list of available partitions this is every partition in call manager is here and here are the list of selected partitions which means we have pulled from the list of available partitions we have uh, selected them and uh, kind of placed them on the keychain for this calling search space to tell this calling search space that yes you have permission to reach these partitions and this is an ordered list the order does not matter uh, in most cases especially in this very rudimentary video but for certain topics and certain concepts like time of day routing this list and the order in which this list of these list of partitions appears is very important and could create some headache and it will uh, just generally be not be a good time troubleshooting if you do not pay attention to the fact that this is an ordered list and you can control the order with these arrows up here it seems kind of a little weird because there's no actual one two three four five you just kind of have this ambiguous <laughs> open space and these arrows here but just know that this is an ordered list so this is the HQ calling search space and these are the partitions that this calling search space will search through uh, for a list of reachable numbers now if we go over to the phone I will show you where this calling search space is configured at the phone level this phone is applied to the HQ calling search space and its directory number the 1001 directory number in the internal partition also has a calling search space and that is because a directory number is a, a special device or a special concept that can make calls and field calls so it needs a partition because it can be called and it also needs a calling search space because it effectively makes calls when you use this phone and you select this extension or this directory number to make a call you are effectively selecting it's calling search space so this directory number is in the internal calling search space and the phone is in the HQ calling search space so what happens there is you have the calling search space of the directory number and the calling search space of the phone it combines concatenates to form one super calling search space with every partition that's in the internal 
calling search space and every partition that's in the HQ calling search space. So I just wanted to touch on that briefly because that may seem a little confusing at first when you first dive into it, but uh, just remember that they concatenate together and you should be uh, good to go there. So that was a very broad, uh, rough overview of calling search spaces and partitions. I know it may not be uh, the best <laughs> explanation, but that is the, the explanation in my words. Maybe it helps you um, if you are looking around at videos and you didn't quite understand it. Maybe I said something or I said a few things that kind of facilitated your understanding, but essentially it's a, a very, not an obscure topic, not really abstract. You just need to actually get into an environment and mess around with it a little bit and see how they interact with each other. So that is what we are going to do next. I'm gonna do a quick demonstration. You could demonstrate this and extrapolate all this information that you know out to the nth degree by trying to um, you know put different phones and partitions and calling search bases and see who can call who. But I think in the real world, the where you're gonna run into this the, the most often is configuring a phone to make an outbound call to a trunk or to a gateway, uh, just giving it permission to do that. So that's what we're gonna do in our uh, simple demonstration next. Um, and hopefully it clarifies uh, a few more things and kind of drives the point home. So stay tuned. One of the last things we're gonna do is walk through a real world scenario uh, in which we can easily demonstrate uh, calling search spaces and partitions their role and, uh, and, uh, and how to manipulate them to get the result that you want. So the scenario that we're gonna lay out is you've just configured this phone. It happens to be a Jabber uh, client on a Mac, on this computer specifically. You've just configured this phone for a user and they go to make an outbound call and they can't make an outbound call to the PSTN or the ITSP. So we need to fix that and uh, the hint is the issue is in the calling search space. So if we look at this phone, we are going to see that it's in the calling search space HQ. Maybe you've just looked at another phone, you're not too familiar with the environment, you've been given this ticket to configure this phone, you just threw in the calling search space HQ because every other phone had it or some other phone had it, you thought it was good to go, and then you saved it and applied it. And then you went into this directory number, you see that the directory number has the calling search space internal. Okay, that looks like it's what it should have because the route partition is internal. Okay, but for some reason, when this person goes to make an outbound call, uh, they get this message. Now I'm going to call, it's going to be like you're making an outbound call to any number, but this is a test number for my SIP carrier, uh, you should get like an echo IVR if it the call routes properly. And right now, call cannot be completed as dialed. it's not. Please you get that message, which and... is never a good message. So what's happening here, the call flow is this user goes off hook. They enter the digits 94443, which is um, uh, hits a route pattern that is in a particular partition, the PSTN partition, and then it sends the call out to the trunk to the cube to my provider. But for some reason, that call is not being routed. Now, if we want to look at this, we would go into the class of control, the calling search space, find HQ, and we notice that PSTN partition is not in the available list of selected partitions. So that could be our problem. Let's just double check real quick. We'll go to route plan report. We will hit find, and we're going to find this route pattern, and we're going to see that it is in the PSTN partition. That could very well be our problem. So to fix this, we are going to go over to the calling search space, HQ, and we're going to add this partition, and you can see it just defaulted to the bottom of the list, but that doesn't matter and we're going to hit save. Now, when we make an outbound call from this application, we don't need to restart our phone or anything like that, but the difference is when we make this outbound call and to the same digits, we are now allowed to uh, access that route pattern, which is going to ultimately route our call uh, to this um, ITSP number. So let's give it a shot.
And there you go. So that is a successful uh, route, call route to this uh, to this number, and that easily demonstrates what could happen if you don't have uh, if you have calling search spaces misconfigured, or if you don't understand your environment. Um, that is just one very simple scenario. Uh, there could be uh, hundreds of other different uh, scenarios there, or issues that could happen. You're just going to have to essentially understand the basis or the basics of calling search spaces and partitions and then use that to your advantage as you troubleshoot um, and, uh, and it'll help you in the future. So I hope this video has been helpful. Um, let me know in the comments down below uh, and stay tuned for more collaboration networking specific videos. Okay.